I'm Richard Patrick. This is my esteemed colleague, Greenface. <laughs> I love it. Cool? Does it still look good? I've been running around all day with it on. It's cool. Lady's amazing, man. She did this in 20 minutes. What? Wow. Yeah. She did my husband as well. 40 minutes to do both of them. 25 bucks. I did a remote with her about five years ago out at a haunt in Guthrie. And ever since then, man, they let me get in the haunt and do the touch and grab and do all that stuff. And she did my makeup that night. And I was like, you're mine every Halloween now, man. Awesome. See, I always think that people would might be like freaked out and punch back or something. I don't think they ever do. I think it's just part of the, it's part of the gig. Yeah. You know what you're getting into when you get in those haunted houses. What do you think, Bobby? I think it's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> He's frightened. Uh, on that note, tell me, as a kid, Halloween's right around the corner next week. What was your favorite costume that you dressed up in as a kid? In 1978 or 77, in fourth grade, I took a golf tube was a white kind of translucent golf tube that you use to store your golf clubs. And I put it on a flashlight with a Mr. Operator, Mr. Operation. Oh, the Operation And made a red lightsaber and then took an army blanket and made a cloak out of it and took white cotton and made Obi-Wan Kenobi's beard. And I pretended to be Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my and only hope. Everyone freaked out because it was such a good costume. My mom was like, "See, did mom do my it? Boy it was special homemade special in a good way." <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I've always loved Halloween. I, I never had any cool, like, elaborate costumes. I think, I think maybe one of my favorites was. Uh, did I you wear I, the plastic masks? Yeah, I mean, like I did those when you're when you're little, yeah. when you're really young. Yeah, yeah, like the mummy mask and all that stuff. Um, but I loved like Michael Myers and like the mm -hmm. Halloween movies. So I, I had that mask as a kid. I know. I mean, most most of the time, my, my mom would dress us up. So, but hands down, Beetlejuice. Uh, I, I think oh, I was dressed go. up as Beetlejuice like maybe three or four years in a row. Because <laughs> awesome. we already had the costume ready. So. That's a good one right there. That's classic. Yeah. I like that one. All right, let's get on to business, man. Let's talk business. business. We got the we got the new album. We did the uh, the deluxe reissued edition right? oh yeah yeah of uh title record yes title record and it you postponed the tour tell us a little bit about that yeah, yeah. i know you're doing some film scoring stuff. yeah the film I scoring know about that well i have new managers and they had a little scheduling issue with some of my scoring work and between my scoring work and my uh the touring i have to kind of err on the side of doing the scores because there's way more people that are dependent on that than on the touring side because touring is is a wonderful thing but i've been touring for 30 years and you know um a veteran i i have i have this this new kind of scenario with scoring and um you know i i um can you tell us a little bit more about what that is in well the latest the movie that i'm doing is called aaron's garden it stars ryan Philippi. it's directed by brian skiba and you know their um their film needs to be finished very soon so i'm just kind of like darn and it's a priority for you now it's a priority and it's just because my managers on the band the music side are brand new and i think they weren't aware of that conflict even though um i had hoped that they they would understand and um so it's just it's one of those things it's a snafu um regardless congratulations on the 20 years man yes well the the title of record you know was was absolutely uh, it was when everything was working and everything was fine and you know you drop mushrooms and <laughs> and and right welcome to the fold you know and like or or um it was before uh, things got really bad with me and drinking it was right when like things were like pretty amazing i mean i was secretly dating darcy from the smashing pumpkins it was this whole massive love affair that was happening and um you know those things just make records amazing you know and it comes from that pineal gland space man <laughs> from the ether yeah. yeah and so i you know it was a great time in my life and uh i look back uh fondly um but the tour scenario just got 
just it, it was a little i think we're going to postpone it until spring you said you were giving refunds back or re spring from the point of from the point of purchase mm -hmm. yeah but if people wanted to keep it for uh, a, a show that comes up in the future then uh, you know i think well the can. blessing is we're, we're losing can. out on you that way but we're gaining you in another creative way well so. i mean that's yeah. the thing i mean i've been on tour for like you know i think i've almost saturated the market on sure. well, we're on glad you're here with us yeah for catfish 2019 uh, oh yeah no catfish is gonna perfect be great out there, isn't yeah it? yeah it's absolutely Beautiful. perfect all right us. so we got some introducing to cat nation to do of these fine fellows right well, here. these guys this is johnny radke he wrote the sun comes out tonight with me and um he wrote the song surprise in like five seconds um and uh i came on came in with, with with just lyrics on that one and um he this guy's an amazing special incredible writer and then this is rotten bobby nice to meet yeah. you i'm rotten bobby hey. how would you describe rotten bobby bobby is a genius musician all around guys all, <laughs> I want to know what the oh, rotten's yeah. all about. Yeah, What's that story? No, no, he is. He's a great <laughs> songwriter as well. He's, um, you know, he's one of the he's one of the best. He's been with us for years. We this is this lineup has been together for years. Got to so. be nice to have a songwriting trio yeah, going yeah, right. down, right? What's up with the songwriting like trio? Music <laughs> 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 get to work, kids. Why he's doing the film scoring? You better get yeah. on it. Yeah, and again, we want to say like we know like the fans are, are bummed, you know. But unfortunately, you know, like as Rich was saying, it's just like th these things happen. It's like you know we're bummed too, but we'll we'll, well let's put it this way. It's, the it's last, all about timing. The man. last time it happened with the way it's supposed unfortunately to. Unfortunately, it is it, the la the lap. But the last time I I canceled the tour was because I had to go to drug rehab. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that Why this tour got. Right, yeah, you know, I was for yourself. barely living, you know, 10, 15 years ago, and now I'm 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 spread too thin. My creativity is all over the place, and I I have scheduling issues because of it. So that's a pretty great place to be, you know, that I'm alive and well, and I'm I'm working all over the place, and it's hard to get me into locking into a tour right now. But you know, it's a good place for for me. If it's in coming my from life. that feel good place, man, that you follow what feels right, then that creativity yeah. happens. If you force it, it yeah. doesn't turn out the way it, once you come up with all those trials it, and tribulations. Yeah. They're giving, unfortunately, they're giving me the wrap it up. I always could sit here and talk to you guys all We could now. sit here and talk for hours. <laughs> 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 you, you want to live, Bobby? Some more. He oh, keeps well. staring at me all like I'm all weird and stuff. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's, it's, I. The, I'm I'm begging the pa the fans for patience and and I hope they they understand that that maybe we'll come back around. The, and the album's out on vinyl for the first time. Come on, yeah. And, and uh, vinyl's coming. The back, record's so out on vinyl. Out I actually vinyl, man. I actually bought my first turntable in uh, my life because the first ones were given. Did they to hide me. you underneath stairs somewhere when you were a child? My like brother what? Robert, <laughs> the Terminator. <laughs> You know, the liquid metal cop, the Terminator. <laughs> my brother Robert used to threaten my life with, you scratch this Clash record one more time, I will kick your ass. <laughs> That's a good brothering right there. I That's like a, it. It was, it, was a, it was a trip. Let me Thank tell you, you that. guys so much for taking time to sit down and rap with me. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Have a great... You look great future I wish thank you, guys you. The best of luck i'm a huge fan hit throw me some, send me some cds and stuff you got it of course i like free stuff